every day we need to put on a fresh new attitude. You know why? Yesterday's attitude will get old. If you don't start a fresh and a new, then you'll bring all the negative from yesterday into today. You need to do something to get your day started right. I mean, if you're not a person who can manage, you know, a long time, then take five minutes or three minutes or something. I don't know, lock yourself in the bathroom and pray for five minutes. But just, God, help me. Help me. I want to put on love. I want to go out of my house today and treat people right. I've got problems, God, and they tend to make me cranky. Don't let me take them out on other people. Make a plan to go out and behave yourself. Every morning when you wake up, you need to say, Father, thank you for this day. Thank you that you woke me up. Thank you that you gave me air to breathe. Thank you that you surrounded me with favor. I'm grateful to be alive. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for opportunities. Lord, I'm going to live this day to the full. That's putting on a fresh new attitude. You wipe the slate clean. You let go of yesterday's disappointments, what didn't work out. You get your mind going in the right direction. I'm going to see the good today. I'm going to be kind to somebody. I'm going to stay in faith and enjoy this day. Make a plan to be a blessing. Plan ahead of time that when somebody offends you, you're going to forgive them immediately. Plan ahead of time to be quick to forgive. Plan ahead of time to give things away, to compliment people to encourage people. Just get up in the morning and think, okay, Lord, here's my goal today. Everywhere that I go, I don't know how many people I'll see today, maybe 15, 20, 25, but every single person I see, I want to say a little something to them that will make them feel a little bit better than they were before I got there. Psalm 119, 147, I rise early to cry out for help and to put my hope in your words. He says, I start every morning Talking to you, I cry out in prayer, and listening to you, I read your word. He says, I start my day with hope. Are you starting your day with hope or with despair? At some point, we have to look in the mirror and say, maybe I'm the one that needs to change. Maybe I've developed a habit of seeing what's wrong rather than what's right. Maybe I've trained myself to be negative, disrespectful, hard to get along with. That's why it's so important every morning to put on this fresh new attitude. I'm excited about this day. I don't have to go to work. I get to go to work. I'm grateful for this job. I'm not focusing on what's wrong. Lord, I want to thank you for what's right in my life. Hey, Jesus died for us so we can have a great life, church. I want you to have the very best life that you can have. And there's a lot of lost people out there that don't know Christ. So let, let's get out in the world and, and be a, a living message to them. Let's preach at all times and only use words when it's necessary. Let's let our attitude and our actions do the preaching. You know, you can argue with words, but you cannot argue with consistent action. This day is a gift from God. It is filled with possibilities, new ideas, new friendships. Mercy is kindness and kindness is mercy and boy we love the mercy of God don't we oh my gosh mercy is so amazing that we can do things wrong and God just forgives us that he never shuts us out of his life because we didn't do everything exactly the way he wanted it done his mercy is new every day every morning and I figure that he makes a new batch every day because I used up all of yesterday's some of you need to get up and this is why it's so important to get up in the morning and spend some time with God. Am I going to live this day negative, sour, seeing the wrong, chip on my shoulder, or am I going to live it in faith, positive, hopeful, seeing the best, being good to people? This is a choice that we have to make every day. Whatever you happen to be facing today or may face, I actually want you to call it Goliath because if you call it Goliath, then at least you know where it's going to wind up. Life is too short to live negative, sour, letting circumstances dictate our attitude. Every morning you need to make the decision, 
this is another day the Lord has made. I'm going to live it in faith. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to see the best. I'm going to make the most of this day.